It's now time for a closer look with Lennox Gasper, a program which takes an in-depth look at the government's works in and around communities in Region 10 and how these works are impacting the lives of residents. Welcome to this edition of A Closer Look, where we take a microscopic view of the development and government's engagement in Region 10. Over the weekend, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, engaged youths in Victory Valley. Minister Todd, no stranger to Region 10, not only by his frequent visits, but by being raised as a child in Linden, is ensuring every corner of the region feels the presence of government. Linden has been very good to me, and I'm very pleased that I'm able to come back to Linden to work with the communities in Linden. Now, Victory Valley is a very special, it's very special to, to myself, to the, His Excellency the President, and as you can see, to those persons who are working here also in the community, some of whom will be speaking with you. And we want to make sure that we are not here just to talk, but to interact and to work with you here in the community. So last year we started, firstly, by resurfacing this hard court for the residents of Victory Valley. And we made a promise at that time that once completed, we are not going to just move away. We're going to keep coming and we're going to keep engaging with the residents and the youths in the community because we want to have a long lasting partnership. You know of the One Guyana concept? How many of you have heard of that? One Guyana. None of you? You never heard of One Guyana concept? You've never heard the president talking about One Guyana? Well, allow me to just tell you a little bit about One Guyana. So One Guyana is an initiative that was birthed by His Excellency the President that speaks to unity, inclusivity, togetherness and a one Guyana where each and every citizen it doesn't matter what your race is what your religion is it doesn't matter whether you're male or female we're all included and we all will be given equal opportunities to be able to benefit from our advancement so you here in Victory Valley, you are part of the One Gan Initiative because it covers the length and breadth of this country. The President always would say no one will be left behind and particular attention is being placed on you, the youths. Why? Because you have to be able to provide continuity for us. We will not be here perpetually or forever. I used to be a kid just like you, listening to people like myself. Now I'm here doing the same thing. So there's continuity in how we grow and develop as a nation. And we have to invest in you. We have to. It's important for us to invest in your education, invest in your health care, and, in, and invest in community development. So things that we do within communities like what we're doing now is also part of your development. So while you're in school, getting a good education, getting good counseling and guidance from your teachers, getting good support, good parenting from your parents and from your guardians. We want to also ensure that we can bring communities together and for us to work towards building a stronger and more cohesive environment. So our presence here today is part of that partnership that we want to be continuous. We want to be friends. We want to be partners. We want to be able to be here with you to listen to you and to watch you grow and develop. And this is our opportunity to get to see you, the young progressive youths, to share with you our ideas, to listen to you and to work with you because this is a long lasting relationship. Many of you here will be having conversations at a different level when you finish high school when you finish university. So having this 
these kinds of in interactions will help us in building that partnership. And it helps also with you being committed to your community, understanding who your leaders are, and knowing that your leaders are there to ensure that they can meet and in most cases exceed your needs. So when we started last year, we started with a annual Easter basketball competition, which was very successful. We got support from the Chinese embassy, or I should say the government and people of China. This year, we will get the same support. The Chinese ambassador will be here tomorrow. And then we were discussing the second basketball competition. And then we said to ourselves, you know what? I think this time we need to broaden it a bit. Let us get the youths together from Victory Valley, apart from my friend who's from Amelia's Ward, who's this guy here, he's from Amelia's Ward. But we still love you and we're gonna keep you here too. So we said this, this year we're gonna make it a bit broader, take it to, to two days, get the youths to come out and have a nice discussion on empowerment because it goes hand in hand. Minister Todd spared no words in building the morale of the youths in Victory Valley. He made it known that dreams become reality once they are chased and that government stands ready to assist all Guyanese with opportunities for a better life. About empowering you, about letting you know that the sky's the limit, that you can be anything that you want to be. Once you work hard and you're disciplined and you put your mind to it, you can do it. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter your circumstances at this time. You can make it. We've all had our trials. We've all had our challenges. And if we can make it, you can make it. So we want to be a live and shining example for you so that you can see leaders not only here in your community like Jafia, but public representatives like myself from Linden, letting you know that you can be extremely successful and you can be a leader right here in this community, in Region 10 and by extension in Guyana, helping to ensure that we can make and continue to make Guyana a better place for every citizen. And that is what we're here to achieve, to invest in you. It's all about investing in you so that you can be a better citizen. And that is what we want for Guyana. Citizens that are committed, law-abiding, and progressive. And we will give you all of the opportunities available. You just have to grab it. So education, grab it. Take it. It is free. It, you have to make the investment. You will see it will turn out very, very well for you. So stay in school, be obedient, play sports like what you're going to do tomorrow. I think some of you are playing in the, in the youth team and we have two girls, two teams, of females, I think. Yeah. So this is what we want. We want to have these kinds of interactions. I keep, make, ensure that you keep your academics going or your school going. Balance it with these kind of community development, enhancement, workshops and we will be here every year and in between the year to stay with you and to be able to work with your parents and your guardians and your community leaders to make Victory Valley a better community for yourself and for all of Linden. So please continue to be a good student, a good daughter, son, brother, sister, nephew, niece and we will continue to be a good government for you. Chief Investment Officer Dr. Peter Ramsarup also gave an insight on investment already rolled out by government that is benefiting Guyanese, including residents of Region 10. I've been coming with the Honorable Minister for quite a few trips to this valley and one of my most impressive things this time is to see this walkway done. 
I mean, I remember coming in the first time and, you know, we got mud on our shoes and, you know, and, and we all would have dreams. I'm sure a lot of you would have heard your parents say, I mean, I wish something could be done in this community, some better walkway, some better roads. And to see it happen, you can then go back home and realize that you can have dreams. And if you work hard, you push hard, you get your... Um, things that you need done known, it could happen. Empowerment is a big word, right? Empowerment means many, many things. And I, I see quite a few various ages in this audience. You know, when you're all the way, say up to 10 years old, you wanna, you know, you wanna go have fun, you wanna play, you wanna do a lot of things out there and nothing is wrong with that. From 10 up, you start thinking of common entrance and you got to get into a secondary school and the parents are pushing you to work hard to get your education, study in the night, and you have to do that. Now, when you get into secondary school, you got to start thinking now, what is next? How do I contribute to, for myself initially? You've got to develop yourself, as the minister said, education and all the things your parents will tell you. Then what after that? What is your dream? What do you want to be? when you grow up, everybody asks the question, you know, a lot of us would say doctors and lawyers, and we, we've got a lot of dreams. Some of us make it, some of us don't, but it doesn't mean we are not successful. What makes you successful? What I would advise, especially those above 15, is I would like you to go home tonight, get a piece of paper and say, write down what you would like to be from 15 to 25. Right? Government has very good education programs. We've got something called the Gold Scholarship, where you can get sign up for a free education. Right? In five years before this term is up, our government has promised free education at the University of Guyana. So you've got a lot to look forward to. Guyana is one of the most exciting places you can live in the world today. A lot of us watch TV, we see America, we see Canada, we see uh, Great Britain, and we wonder, would we ever get there? I can tell you, Guyana is on its way to be one of the most developed countries in this region and probably in the world. What you see our president, when he talks about transformation, he talks about the development of our nation. How do we grow ourselves? He wants each citizen across Guyana to be prosperous, to have the best life we can have in this region and the world. And he has done it. He's starting to do a lot of transformation. You may think a road is not a key development or a walkway, but imagine now you can get to school faster. Your parents can get to work faster. That means there are quicker ways to develop yourself going forward. Empowerment again is a lot about choices. We all have the choice in what we can do. If you think of choices, and I want you, um, you all of us say the national pledge, we, we know the national anthem. You know, one of the things we gotta grow up with is sense of pride in our country. When you see that flag, you gotta remember it's our country. We don't want anyone else to tell us what to do. It's for us to develop our own country and that's, where the foundation of what we all talk about and this one Guyana platform you hear is very important because it puts a national sense of pride and patriotism in all of us. It says we together will work Guyana. It's not about any political party. It's not about any race or color of your skin texture of your hair. It's about us. That's what one Guyana is about. So I want us to really concentrate on what the word empowerment is. You can go look it up on Google for those who have access. And you can see a lot of the, the it's financial security, right? Guyana, I want to just end with what we are doing. There's a lot of big investments coming to the region. You know, right now you see, we know about bauxite. We've got a, a mini steel operation factory being built. We've got the call center right here in Linden that are looking for folks to work in the call center. They, they, they need people tomorrow. If you're 18 and above, you can get a job, right? There are many, many opportunities will come more and more as we develop Guyana. 
One of the things you hear about is just this road going towards Mabura and going towards Lethem. You may think, well, another road. But that road is what we call an economic road. A lot of people, people that have never even heard of Linden, right, will suddenly want to go see what Mabura look like or what let them look like now because they're gonna drive on paved roads. So you're gonna have a lot of people coming through this region. You and your parents gotta start thinking, what is it in for me? How could I benefit, right? And that's where the economic value of that road becomes. You may, you know, start thinking of opening just a simple food shop. So when the cars pass, some of us may decide to build a resort in the jungle. Right? Our president has initiated a vision called the twin product. A lot of people go to Barbados on the beach. We don't have, you know, nice blue waters, except for the blue lakes. And I'm gonna tell you something happening in the blue lake shortly. But we are twinning a product in between Barbados and Guyana, St. Lucian and Barbados called couple days on the beach, couple days in the jungle. So when all those foreigners start coming into Guyana and they wanna go into the jungle, this is the jungle right here. Right? They want to know what it feels like to be in the jungle. So things that we laugh about and we think is not important, they pay big money. So we are looking for resorts to be set up along the Demerara River so people can come, stop off, go lay in a hammock for two hours, and then get back on their car and drive somewhere else. All of those are economic opportunities. So if you're a young kid thinking of entrepreneurship, start thinking of how you will do better in your community. Empowerment is about a community too. No one of us can do it all. And we want to see people come together in order to put their money together and develop something. So we've got to figure out how to work together. The Blue Lakes, we are in conversation with uh, a major developer um, to build a 100 room plus resort hotel right here on the Blue Lakes. We're in serious conversation, imagine when that's done, how many tourists will come to this region? How much of us will get work? So you got to start thinking, what? how could I get training now so I can get those jobs? Your parents got to start thinking how they can come together to work. So Region 10, Linden is destined for greatness. So feel proud that this achievement that you've accomplished here, the basketball tournaments are all accomplishment. What will that do for you going forward? It builds teamwork. You got to be committed to the training, committed to your education, and ultimately make the choice that you want to be part of One Guyana and you're not going to allow anyone, anybody to tell you that we can work together. We don't have unity. Don't allow any of that to come into your household. When you hear the word discrimination and racism and all those things, kick it out. Say, you know, we're going to make sure that we all work together to develop our community and to develop Guyana. So as you listen to the, the whole term empowerment and what it means, it means you and I taking control, taking power of ourselves and taking power of our community. The youths of Victory Valley are all excited with the conclusion of the empowerment workshop and stands ready to benefit from the plethora of opportunities presented by government. It helps us to develop our thinking more and we can do better if we are together at all times. It was very encouraging, you know. I'm glad that I see many youths come out, you know, so that they can be empowered and gain knowledge at the same time. It will educate the young people to about ways how to develop the community and develop the country in a whole. Cause from the community develop developing, you could develop the entire country. I feel great, you know. Every time these people come out. I feel so nice because I actually get them to come out of my house. Yeah, and like basketball and so on. It's my dream to like actually play basketball as a female.
The visiting team also oversaw a healthy basketball competition. It was very, 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 very good to see you guys come out and compete in a very competitive manner, but in a friendly manner. And I felt very, very warm inside that you guys are coming together as a community. And this is part of building, and we want to continue to work with you perpetually. So we could not have made this event possible without the support from the leaders right here in Victory Valley and for your participation. So please give the organizers and yourselves a big round of applause. So this is a competition. Of course, there'll be some persons who will have done better than others, but overall, we're all winners. Always remember that, we are all winners. Some are better than others, but we are working together as a team, and that's why you're placed in teams to play in groups as teams. So it's about friendship, it's about teamwork, it's about building camaraderie and working together as a unit. And this is good for you, it's good to add to your uh, own personal development. We want to continue to do this every year and in between if we can find ways of getting you more involved, this is what we need to do because we need to get you involved. So this is the second, there'll be a third and a fourth. It will continue beyond me as well because you we want to give this thing a life of its own and you have to take the ownership of it and you have to help us to make this thing bigger and better every year. This year we did one extension, we decided to broaden it a bit and we invited a team from, I think it's a mixed team from Blueberry Hill and Christianburg. Next year, maybe we'll add some more. And this is all about making Victory Bali even stronger. Because as you get more and more outside competition, you lift your, your game as well. So it's not meant to encroach on Victory Valley, but it's meant to bring more, the most broader spirit of cooperation to this whole event. This is Easter, it's about celebration. It's about us working hard and playing hard. So let's continue to unite, let's continue to work together, let's continue to respect each other, your friends, your neighbors. Let's put let's put your 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 community first because this is your community. You have to help us to work with you to develop it. This is your priority and we will work to ensure that this community is one of the shining communities within Linden and Region 10. I'm always pleased to see uh, you guys, my, my friends. Um, every time I am uh, very happy to meet you, especially the boys and the girls. Uh, I see you are growing. You're taller, stronger, and better skilled in basketball. I'm very happy and very proud of you. I, I did enjoy 
every game, every shot, every try, every scream from the audience. It's so wonderful. Everyone try your best, I guess. And I, I, you, you all know practice makes perfect. Just keep trying. And I believe everyone will achieve greater success. Everyone will be better of yourself. So I hope next time there will be even more, uh, even more wonderful games. And I, I believe and I hope there will be more girls participating in this, in this, uh, in these games. And you did well. I see much better performance today. Congratulations to the girls, especially. Government continues to place immense emphasis towards the development of Region 10, ensuring everyone benefits from the resources of the country. Until next time, I am Lennox Gasper. <laughs>